Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product that is King Kony M1 that is M series board because its energy meter function just only one channel of relay so that called M1 so you can see this is the terminal for the 220 voltage in and 220 voltage out so and this is Ethernet and this is the terminal and this is IR extend and this is the box and you can see the in front and the back and this side also you can install on the DIN rail in your power distribution box so let's look at uh, the PCB board in details so you can see uh, this is our M1 board you can see uh, this is in front and this is back and this is for large current this board will also use the ESP32 module so that you can use ESP home for home assistant very easily and this is USB and this is Ethernet and this you can see the CT clamp just connected to detect the current of the load and this detect the voltage of the load and this is only one channel relay uh, this relay you can see is 30 ampere so it's very large and almost uh, for every application you can use and this is the terminal is removable so I can remove this terminal and you will see it here uh, that is DC power supply uh, this board supports two power supply way this is for the DC 12 or 24 volt and if you install the power switch just if you install this power module so that you can use AC directly if you install the module at here so that you only need to use this uh, L line and the neutral line and for this power supply for this whole board not need to use the extend DC 12 watt or 24 watt power supply the default we have removed this if you want to use the AC uh, just we, we can install this module on this PCB board okay and you can see here uh, that is the digital input uh, one channel digital input uh, you can connect with a sensor or connect with your switch and uh, this is I square C extender and you can see that is SDA and SCL and date and clock just you can use the I square C uh, sensor or I square C device uh, for extend and this is the ground and this is 3 volt uh, for the power supply for I square C device and uh, these two terminal that is for extend uh, the IR IR cable and this is 5 volts because some sensor or some device need a 5 volt that VCC is 5 volt such as this is IR extend cable you can see if you want to continue your air conditioning and the other IR device you can use this cable uh, this cable is 3 meter 3 meter long distance and so that you can connect with it so you can use the ESP home and in home assistant to control your air condition and uh, maybe to save your power energy so you can send the IR signal uh, to control your air condition and if you cut cut this cable and you can use the screw just use this terminal and connect connect with it directly uh, these two different kinds of terminal all can be used by this IR cable okay this is the IR cable and this is reset and this is for the function button and this is IR receiver so you can learn in your IR remote signal just this is IR receiver so you can see here is the board uh, we have designed uh, for large current and this is the back uh, because the current is very large so this PCB is sick okay this is the PCB details now let's look at some hardware results and you can see in our form we have updates you can see the M1 CRS board you can see the M1 CRS board have many ESP32 pin defined at here and also you can see here that is how to config 
by ESP Home integrate to Home Assistant is very easily. And you can see this M1 to one switch uh, continually on and off. This is the one digital input uh, used use, use for sensor or used for the switch uh, for many countries in this relay. And this you can see the M1 can detect the lowest voltage, current, power, frequency, and energy. So this will be an energy meter of your house. And this is used by the home assistant. So this is a config file. And here you can just use it directly. OK, back. And also, if you want to write your Arduino code, we can write this demo Arduino source code for this M1 board. So this can use the serial port uh, print output uh, this voltage current and the power date by the serial port. And we use this BL0942 chip. Uh, this chip have support by ESP Home and support by the Arduino IDE. So this is a software resource. You can check at our form. And also you can download the schematic you can see here. Just open Kinkoni web page and the service and document and you will see the M1 schematic. So here have some details. You want to know the hardware details just at here. Okay, uh, this is the Kinkoni M1 part. Thanks for watching.